What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we are playing as Lucian, AD Carry, and we are showing you a new build on Lucian that is, well, it's actually very good, and I'm very appalled, actually, at the damage that's been pumping out. I've played it for four or five games now, and I've won all of them except one. Uh, in that one game that we lost, well, I still went like six and three, and it was actually a very good game. Regardless, the build is going to be shown to you guys. Most people think of Lucian as this AD carry that, well, he was very dominant last patch with the Black Cleaver and Blade the Rune King build. And with this patch, buffing crit items and nerfing Black, or Black, <laughs> Black Cleaver, Black Cleaver and Blade the Rune King. Blade the Rune King's still good, it just costs 100 more. But Black Cleaver lost 1% of the armor shred per stack, which is actually a lot. And... Uh, oh, I didn't get experience for that minion, that's bad. So that means we'll have to kill another minion in the next wave before we get level 2. Meaning they're going to hit level 2 before us, and it's going to be all not very good. But with crit items being buffed, and the other items being nerfed, people were like, oh, Lucian's going to fall off a little bit now. Which is true, he did, his win rate has dipped, and people were kind of struggling to build him. Because everyone was like, hey, he's, you still want to build this, this big old black cleaver? And no, you don't. It's really not that good on Lucian. Like, it's okay, you can still do it. But it's, in my opinion, it's getting to the point where it seems, well, almost a little suboptimal. So, what you do instead is you actually take advantage of the fact that, well, they buffed crit items. And the way they buffed crit items are as follows. If you guys are not completely up to date yet, they buffed crit items, uh, specifically all the zeal items. They buffed, well, except Fam Dancer. Fam Dancer got nerfed, it costs 50 gold more now. But Runan's Hurricane lost its on-hit damage in exchange for 15% more bonus AD ratio on the bolts. They now do 40% of your AD on the bolts. The Rapid Fire Cannon energizes 25% faster. So, you know, attack more with a more long range. And the Static Shiv had its damage on champions buffed. What the hell, Morgana? What the? Come on, bruh. Anyways. Static Shiv had its damage on champions buffed where it does less damage on creeps. But also do remember Static Shiv's active can crit as well. So we have to, dude, I actually really am really sad that we lost that experience. Plus I'm even more sad that I'm playing with a Morgana that's really not doing much other than snaring my siege minions. So that stinks. We're gonna have a bad time in this lane. And she's actually, well, she's trying to kill herself, I think, but it ain't gonna happen. Either way, we take advantage of that. We go Blade of the Rune King, Static Shiv, and go hard. So that is the build. You guys have been updated on the items as well. And bam, boom. Get some damage off on Jin there as well. Is gonna be a good trade. She's gonna get hooked here, but I'm gonna be able to do some sick damage off on this guy. So the reason I know I'm able to do this is, oop, that's gonna be that. So there goes the exhaust and the ignite. He did not heal though, where I did. So, hmm. Is he gonna? Oh, is he gonna go for the cheese? Wait, who the fuck's their jungler? Oh dear. Okay. Well, he still has heal. I took a lot more damage there than I thought I would. I should have actually probably flashed out of B. Hmm. Nah, I shouldn't have. I was fine to not flash out of that. If he shoots this, I'm dashing it on him. Oh, he wants me. He wants me. Oh, there goes his flash to get that fourth shot off on me, though. What? What, dude? Come on. All right. Well, Jin flash just to get... Whoa! Holy mackerel. What the hell? Okay. Well, you know, you tried. And that's what matters. Uh, get him, Jarvin. That stinks, dude. That stinks, man. Okay. Well, at least we make him miss those minions. We go back. Oh, hell no. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Gonna use my flash to pick up that kill there. And... The way I did that, since I let my auto attack go off first, after my dashed E, so I have my passive on that auto attack, right? That means that auto attack is empowered. I shoot twice, and then I hit the Q. That way, I know 
that I don't have mana for my Q, and I'm very sad now. But that way I know, even if he does react in time to use his heal there, he's still gonna die. Because we know he didn't have his flash, he used it to get away from us earlier. So we'll pick up that kill, we are a little behind on the CS game, and that's okay, because this is where we will make it back. Bilgewater complete will be good. He should be able to afford a BF Sword with his CS right now. So he's probably going to go get a BF Sword. Or a Serrated Dirk. All right. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay, Serrated Dirk coming out of our boy Jin right here. And we will be able to get his life. We, knew to, we do need to remember this man still does have his heal. So if we go in for a fight... We have to keep that in the back of our mind. But getting that kill there is going to be good. Obviously, we just push the wave out right after we get the kill. Make sure that he misses as much as we can make him miss. And one thing to note that I'm doing that you really should make it a... Wow! That grenade, dude! Holy shit. Okay, anyways. One thing that you should do that I'm really messing up on that you should make a point to not do is not miss minions that there's no reason to miss. I've been missing a lot of minions that literally there ain't no rhyme or reason for me missing them. And it's literally been just because I'm a goofball and I've been, well, messing them up. But generally as an AD carry, do your absolute best not to miss minions that you don't need to miss. Because the gener or the you know the enemy laners are gonna be trying to zone you off minions anyways. So you're gonna be missing them. You need you need to stop taking sieges. <laughs> what the fuck? I hate this. I actually hate this. <laughs> like, stop it. Just stop. Seriously. That's actually. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been so peeved as an AD carry. Like, bruh. <laughs> There's just so much, not that much else for me to say. It's just like, come on. It's literally all I can think of saying, man. Just like, come on. I'm just so, I'm just so moderately disappointed, I guess. Okay. Well, this has got a good, whoa, God, Jesus. It's all over. It's all over. Wait, you got the kill at least, okay. I didn't even notice the teleport. I didn't even notice it. Now we're dead. We're all dead. It's over. <laughs> like how Swain's saying that he's missing now. Yes, he is. He is gone indeed. But so is our life. This is a bad game so far. But you know what? It's fine. We'll get the build and we'll carry the frick out of these buffoons. And it's gonna be good. So, you know what? I am going to carry this game. My farm is low. But I'm going to carry this game. And it's going to be good. Last game I actually accidentally had Warlords Bloodless. Otherwise, I would you guys would be seeing that game. And, I mean, I still carried that game. I went like 13 and 6. But it just... I didn't feel like it was a good example of the way... Or how good this build actually is. I did not feel like it was a good example of that. So I wanted to redo this with this. You know, with the right masteries. So when this guy does that, I'm going to dash at him there. Look at this damage I get off for nothing. And what? Are you serious? <sighs> Now I'm actually upset. You're done for, Jin. You're done for. You flashed on the wrong Lucian, man. You flashed on the wrong double gun Obama, motherfucker. I am mad now. Somehow that W hit me, and somehow it kept me under turret range. So I am double mad right now. I'm actually... I'm not just mad. I'm double mad right now. And Morgana doing a beautiful thing there, holding that wave for me. Oh, I'm going to get back to this lane. And I'm going to go so hard on this guy because he doesn't have his flash. And hopefully, hopefully Morgana here will take that into consideration with her plays as well. So, 
Boy, if you don't stop. <laughs> if you don't stop there, I am gonna tilt. As in Morgana, I expect, you know, a couple minions here and there to go to the pool. But she's just straight up autoing them. <laughs> just straight up autoing them. And it's like, man, come on, dude. I'm gonna get some damage off on this guy right here. There we go. Do some good damage off on that guy. Talia's coming in. We're gonna go ahead and just hold that button. That's gonna be my kill, and that's gonna be my flash out of there. And let's go ahead and just drop this heal. Oh, that's gonna be another kill for ya boy, Lucian. Beautiful. I don't wanna go that way. There's a minion wave. And less importantly, there's a Thresh. So two kills for the Lucian. That's what I like to see. I told you guys, I was double mad. Who? My siege minion. Me. I'm the AD carry. Why am I tr why does he want me to go back? Oh, I guess Jin could get in range and all. Okay. I go get my Blade of the Ruin King now. This wave's under the tower, so after this tower is done messing with it, it's gonna actually balance out just a little bit on their side, which is okay. It's actually okay. As long as it doesn't stick under their tower, and Jin, if he uses his bouncing grenade, will push it back at us anyways. So we'll see if he does that. And just like that, it's already pushing back at us. So by the time I get back to this lane, it's going to be in a fantastic spot. I am ahead. I have the level lead. I have the Blade of the Ruin King. This guy is not in a good spot versus me. So we get really aggressive now. Blade of the Ruin King on Lucian. Whack. Blade of the Ruin King against another ADK who doesn't have Blade of the Ruin King. Even more whack because of the fact that we have sustain. And that is very important. But a jungler that doesn't even like try and look at a dragon, that is also whack. So I want to keep this right here. And we Stop it. Stop that. Stop it. <laughs> we want to hold this right here. <laughs> and since we got this, there we go. Now it's on our side more. Thresh is right there. I'm just going to dash in this guy's face. That's going to be some good damage. Wow. Well, can you say over aggressive much? So that's gonna be one kill. This guy flashed. I'm just gonna see. I'm gonna call him down right in his face. Ba Boom! Double shot for the double kill. And that's what I like to see. So get that out of him. And he exhausted me there. So, as you guys can see, take advantage of the power spikes of the Lucian. Get that Blade of the Rune King, kill everything. Also, do remember that as a general rule don't do what I did right there I sat there and I called in his face just because I thought it would be a fun and hot prank um, but that's not really a good idea generally if you are in auto attack range and by generally I mean literally every single time ever if you are in auto attack range as Lucian you should be auto attacking your auto attacks will do more damage than your calling do remember that um, if you need the more instant damage though there is, you know, little niche times you could use it, or if you want to get some extra damage before they're in auto attack range. There's lots of situations where you could use it, but it does do more damage. So we are level 9. Remember, upgrade that trinket to the scrying orb, and we are going straight for that static shiv. Now, I'm actually going to go straight into the shiv. I'm not even going to finish my boots right now. For the reason being that Shiv is actually another very large power spike, just like when you would go Blather and King into Black Cleaver, you want to get the items first. And then you finish your boots. Unless you really need them. Say you're against a dominant Caitlyn lane, right? You start with a Doran shield anyways in the Caitlyn lane because of the poke. And I know you guys are smart, so you already know to do that. But let's throw that control ward in there. This guy's Thresh is in here. That means this guy's life is gone because, well... Oh, gee, oh, geez, what happened? Ah, oh, Jin, where both of those summoner spells go? So he's going to go ahead and just have to use both of those to get away from me. And that is... Well, how it's done. Run him down, dude. Run him down. And now, if that happens again, he ain't getting out so easily. So Thresh is mid. Brand is mid. Gragas is top. I can 1v1 new deer very likely, because I will have my heal. And I know Jin. Clearly, Jin can't 1v1 me. So the biggest thing, or the biggest problem that could happen is if Udir runs in and Jin ults. So let's see, is he doing the same thing again? What are you thinking, brother man? So let's go ahead and just drop this and look at this damage right here. And, oh, maybe, oh, I'm tanking it still. I'm tanking it. And, uh, come on. Yes. 
Beautifully done. Just walk our way out of tower range there to avoid the hook. Get the double kill right there. Wait, I didn't get a double kill. Talia got one of those, I think. But a good teleport from Talia. She will be the sacrificial lamb and get hooked instead of me. Very nice. And we get this second tier tower as well. Using Lucian's mobility to my advantage and my raw damage that I know I have. Pushing your advantage. That's what you have to do as Lucian. You get a lead, you run away with it. You cannot let people catch up. That is another big mistake that Lucian players make. They get maybe a lead from anything. They do not run away with it. You have to. You absolutely have to. It is so, 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 so important. Because if you get a lead as Lucian and don't push it, you don't spike into your massively powerful mid game. Or you kind of can, but you don't do it as well. So now that I've taken my power, pushed down bot lane two turrets deep, gotten to their inhibitor tower, this is where I say, Bye bye bot lane. Don't need to be there anymore. Generally, you can do that after the first tower, and I may want to say hello bot lane once again pretty soon here because that wave is stacking up. But I want to be here fighting with my team, and I also want to use my power to get top lane turret down. Because when you are this powerful yourself, you go around the map and you utilize that power. You, you force that power upon every enemy of the enemy team, not just the AD carries that were so you know unfortunate enough to face you. So we go up here, we get this tower down, Swain already pushed it in, good man, well done. And we actually have Talia sitting in the bush with a control ward right now. Ready to take on any foe that decides they want to be there. But unbeknownst to me, they actually got the Rift Herald, and now they're, you know, gonna push mid down with that. We have to go answer this. <laughs> I mean, if we don't, they'll only get two turrets out of it, but, you know, two turrets is still two turrets. I'm coming. I'm coming. So what I want to do here is I want to... Ooh, the Cataclysm! As long as I just stand away from the hot battle right here, ba-boom! That's going to be a double kill. Do not want to get stuck in the Pyroclasm. So I just chose to stay in culling range as opposed to auto attack range there. And we'll grab it that way. So top turret already went down with us going up there. They took one mid turret. I got a double kill mid. This bot wave is pushing and I don't want that. Because that means someone's going to have to answer it as it will become a very large wave within the next two minion waves. Because this wave will collapse right on it right now. Then the next wave will catch it right about here. And then the next wave is going to come in behind it and it's going to be a massive wave. So what I'm going to do now, since there's nothing else on the map, Drake is up in 10 seconds and they have two people top. I'm going to push this out and I'm going to push... I can actually run up forward, push one more wave, and go straight to the dragon. Because this will make it so someone has to come clear the minion's top. Or we'll find a new deer who is... Wait, he's actually... Wait, he's actually... Wait, he's, he's crazy. He's crazy. He's crazy. Wait, he's not crazy. He had flash, and he's a god. All right, well played, buddy. I guess I should have flashed there. He's not crazy at all, dude. He's an actual beast. So good job, Udir. You took me out. But now I get to, you know, it was just an enhanced recall. Um, damn, dude. I should have flashed. I thought I would kill him a lot faster than that. What a beast. So Jarvan taking his red, but that's actually not a good idea right now. Because Swain is top for no reason, and he has ignite. So everyone's just kind of forfeiting the dragon. So I'm going to spam ping that make people feel like they're like, oh, there's a dragon. But, you know, third dragon down. I'm not... I don't know about that. I tried to let them know in advance. But I guess me dying did kind of set off a chain of events that allowed them to get the dragon, so I will take the blame for that. My fault. Let me go grab this here. Since there's actually nothing on the map I can be doing, I'm going to go take jungle camps. Because when you're an AD carry, you are the star of the show. You are are the prince of the rift and you need all the resources because if you get all the resources you can carry the game and I know you can because you're handsome and talented so that's exactly what you're gonna do and that's exactly what you're doing by taking these jungle camps is you're taking all the resources you can so I'll actually miss out on that and mm, I see a Gragas here I see a Gragas here doing these so I'm actually gonna do this I'm, uh, what is he doing there is he is he responding to me? No, he, he was just responding to mid. So I know there's a control ward right in there. So I actually can't come in from this side. Wait, deer's not here. Okay, I'm just going to walk away. And he's not going to be able to catch me out unless he E-flash ults, which is, you know, very realistic possibility that I probably should have accounted for. But I chose not to. 
because I'm a ballsy motherfucker, and that's how I roll. And bow. Whoa, okay. Wait, I'm... Whoa, there we go. A good flash. Thank you for the spell, Ship Morgana. I'm coming back in with the culling. Good cataclysm. This is going to be a good fight for us. Get that kill right there. Jin Curtain Call is going to be trying to make that happen. It ain't going to happen. Four for nothing. Ooh. Beautifully played by my team there. And their blue is up. We don't have a minion wave here, so I'm actually going to go take this blue buff. Or I could try and help Talia. Uh, looks like she's got it under control. It looks like, yeah, she's definitely got it under control. I was gonna, I don't know why I thought I was gonna do that. But, yeah. Originally the whole plan was get the blue and then run right back mid. And then for some reason I thought Talia would need the help. And obviously, she don't. So, they're gonna get that tower. Because, I mean, either way, if I was there or not, we still get the one tower and get out. Like, we weren't getting more than that one. So, grab that. I'm going to ping on my way for this. Because that's a big wave that no one else on the enemy team is there. I'm going to grab that while Swain grabs blue. And my Infinity Edge is only 500 gold off. And after I get that Infinity Edge, another huge break point. Now, I know you might be thinking, like, ankle spanking, you said that every item on Lucian is a huge break point. Well, it is, okay? That's because I'm going to have to cut you off there, Mr. Handsome Ankle Spanking, because, well, let me level with you guys 100% here. I was going to render this video, and my mic actually apparently broke, or something along those lines. It just stopped recording audio from my microphone in the middle of the recording. So either way, I'm going to see if I can just commentate the rest of this game for you guys post-game, Basically, we backed off here. I saw them coming. Swain with a beautiful flash right there, but it's not going to matter. Let me reorientate myself here. I just want to go back because I can afford my Infinity Edge. And getting the Infinity Edge as Lucian with this build is the biggest breaking point of all breaking points. Once you get the Infinity Edge, you are a monster. A literal monster. Because that gives you that crit damage. And on top of that, remember... Your shiv damage itself can crit. So when you get the Infinity Edge, that increases the shiv crit damage. So you can burst people even harder. Now I believe I do decide to go get some damage off on some people here. But seeing as if you look around the map right now, there's nothing I really need to be there. Other than the fight that's starting to break out in mid now. I was able to stop, take those wolves. Now, going into this fight, my objective is to actually take out squishies. I know that as long as I'm Lucian, I have my wits about me. The enemy team is not a team that's able to really kill me. Um, right here, I do see a Jin. Watch. Instant death right there. Just rotate the abilities. Get those off. Dash out away from the brand so he cannot stun me and get me caught out by the team. Take the free kill off onto the Jin. Now... We can run it down mid. Talia is pushing bottom. Swain unfortunately gets killed by Udir at top. But with Talia pressuring bottom on an open uh, inhibitor turret, we can keep the pressure mid as well. And maybe we can try and get stuff there. But looks like Talia had to back off. And since Swain died, but Udir is still top, we are still in that same situation where if they decide to split off, it doesn't really matter. Now at that point, I was just going over, hey... You know, that's what your Energized crits do. Also, I lied to you guys, and I'm sorry. I thought the Energized damage for minions got nerfed. It did not. It does bonus damage. I'm a big buffoon. So dash out of the way. Check out this damage. Get the shield. Doesn't really matter, as I'm just so strong at this point that I can do almost whatever I want. Once I get these three items, and if I play well, I am so powerful that it almost does not matter. So Grogus is going to come in. He's going to try and knock me into the fight, but he's only going to knock me out of it because I reacted with a dash out. Now, I know this Jin really wants the Jarvan. He's yo moosing after him. I've got heal. I'll heal him, dash in, kill this Jin in an instant. Now, Brand is not going to be following up. We have Swain behind us, and the Infernal Drake is spawning. With four of them dead, we want to make sure we secure this. Because Infernal Drake, most important Drake of all the dragons, and that is because it gives you more AD and AP. Just flat damage all across the board, and you want that. You need to have that. So, Infernal Drakes do take priority over most objectives in the game, even towers. Um, and even, not, not if you're contesting Baron, but sometimes you can be like, do we want Baron or do we want Infernal Drake right now? And sometimes it pans out you might want Infernal Drake. And that would be more for the fact that it's safer 
because, you know, Dragon does less damage. But either way, knowing that everyone's still spawning, and before we back here, we're just taking all the resources we can get, take their jungle camps. I see Swain in trouble here, and I immediately know that this Udir cannot fight me. He cannot fight us, so if I go in there and help him out, instant catch right there, and we're good. Now, I know Gragas is on the side. I pinged that out to make sure my Swain knows. I wasn't sure if he was paying attention. Swain looks like he wants to get some... He wants to get a little cheesy here, though. But I'm not too keen on that. I don't think it's going to pan out. I don't think anyone's going to run that way. So I push the wave out. We run forward. I should be back in here. What I'm doing is a big mistake. I'm greedy as fuck. I have 2,700 gold, and I'm running at a Gragas who can literally knock me over the wall right now. So what I was doing there was dumb. Straight up. I'm rich as shit. And I should be, you know, I should go back. We probably shouldn't be staying here. This is overstaying. Talia's top. She does have teleport, but she is top, and Jarvan is still mid. If something goes wrong here, it's going to go horribly wrong. So I'm actually out of position, completely out of position, stuck in the middle of a very bad place, and Thresh gets a fantastic hook off on me here, and I go down. Not much I can do about it, because I had already made all the misplays. And as an AD carry, once you misplay, that's really all she wrote in the most cases like if you've already misplayed as an AD carry you're probably dead now in this situation 3200 gold I should have backed when I had 2700 but I muted her because she kept you know just saying team question mark it was kind of annoying to me but I should have gone back when I had 2700 gold not stay around for that fight that was silly that was dumb what you gonna do but looking at their team, we can see here they have three champions building armor. Gragas has armor. Thresh has a lot of armor due to his passive and the items he has. And whoever the fuck else, I forget his name, has armor. Tulia here actually makes a massive play. Gets both of them caught out immediately with a beautiful seismic shove. We'll go for the wall to try and get that kill. Udir dies to Baron, funny enough. Um... And we can actually get Baron ourselves off of that. Now, me going for red here was a mistake. I should have rushed straight up to Baron. Um, I didn't think about it until after I had done the red, though. So, my fault there. So, I mean, I do get the red. And I think I also take these while I'm here. But after she said that, I was like, wait. We should just do Baron ourselves. You just killed three of them and another one's backing and Jin is top. So, Baron was very free for that entire window of time. So... Mistake on my part to go for the red instead of the Baron there. Take the free Baron because you can literally just win the game at this point off of that. I am in a situation myself where I can pretty much solo carry the game because I'm so powerful. And we chose to get Lord Dominic's regard there because their team does not have a lot of healing. And they do have people with a lot of health though. So whenever people don't have a lot of healing, get Lord Dominic's much more effective. We see Thresh right here. He's running in. He doesn't see me. Blade the Rune King active him. Cull him down. He's just going to go down. That's a catch out in their jungle, and we can run it down mid at this point. But we don't really need to because they have a um, an open inhibitor bottom. But it doesn't matter because Jin's ulting. I'm in range to dash on him. He runs at me. Instant death. Now, we can do the same thing to Brand, but the issue is when you're looking at a Brand as Lucian, you got to make sure you do not dash at him. He will get a free stun off on you, so run at him, dash out of the queue, and then kill him just like it's nothing. Because at that point, it is nothing. You've got it. We get the mid tower. We get the mid inhibitor. We rotate bottom because Talia has taken out the Udir. I'll use my heal preemptively here to fight this Gragas. I know he cannot do enough damage to kill me, especially through constant damage when I'm life stealing and taking his own life anyways. So we will be able to get that inhibitor. Closing this game out, three inhibitors, damn near impossible to come back from. And with four of them dead, doesn't really matter. That will be the end of the game coming up. But no, 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 I'm not done yet. Because Jin decides that he really wants to give me a 17th kill. Let me just show you how it was done. He runs at me. Thresh doesn't even try and stop it from happening. So he's just going to die there. Almost decided to get greedy for the kill. But we will just be ending the game on that note anyways. So, going to this score screen here. I'm really sorry that we had to actually end this game like this. Because I've never recorded a video like this. I don't think it's going to sound very good. But I really, really wanted to use this game. It was a fantastic game showing off how freaking, how freaking strong this build is. It is so powerful and it is so good on Lucian. It brings Lucian back up to the top of 80 carries in my opinion. Not like the very top, but up in the upper you know, 80 carries, the good ones. And as you guys saw right there, a lot of damage coming out. 
So you guys can watch my mouth move and watch whatever the hell I'm talking about for the next two minutes. I don't know what the hell I could have spoken about for two minutes. Oh, I was going over the last bit of the build. That's what it was. So the last bit of the build, let me just run this by you guys real fast. As you saw, I only got to five items. Um, after the three main items, the Shiv, the Blade Rune King, and the Infinity Edge, you are getting situational items. Do you need the Last Whisper? If so, which Last Whisper do you need? Identify that on a game-to-game -game basis. If you don't, do you need Lifesteal? Do you need Mercurial Scimitar? Identify that on a game-to-game -game basis. Other items to consider, Essence Reaver, Phantom Dancer, or a Guardian Angel. When you're doing this build, you already have a Static Shiv, so never, ever get Rapid Fire Cannon. The passives do not stack. Do remember that, or else you're going to look like a fool. So always get Phantom Dancer if you're going to get another crit item, or an Essence Reaver. And Runans, no, we, don't, we don't talk about Runans on Lucian. It doesn't really work on them. So, wow, I did that a lot faster than I did in this video. So look at my dumbass face talking still. You guys can you know watch that and stare at it all you want, or I can just cut it off here. Either way, that's all I got for you guys. If you did enjoy this video, do make sure you leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. If you want to, you can join my public Discord or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All four links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!